Shaman of Beats, Fiction X, Evangelist Femi, I seek, I mean, I mean, so you are keen today, please are uh, uh, your attention needs urgently needed now. You are the one that is delaying the program. We actually want you to be here before we invite the newest Ikembe son of Ikembe. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. We have been waiting for you. It's good to have you here. You are welcome. Please, I, I, I want to believe that it's a special seat. Let's have you seated here. I know not today. Oh! 
Good afternoon. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? Well, my name is uh, Moses Korede Are. Yes, By the grace of God, I'm the president of Cover Dam Ministry, based in Ogbomosho. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. What's happening to you, sir? Oh, beautiful thing. Exhilarating thing. Wonderful thing. Heart touching thing. Uh, at last, Baba. Uh, Baba, that's what we call him. Femi Adibile has finally gotten a wife to marry. He has gotten a good thing. The God Bible says, He that has gotten a wife has gotten a good thing. He has gotten a wonderful, beautiful thing. Well, the relationship is fantastic, very beautiful. He's such a man that I admire very well, a young man that is, that is a bond of respect, a young man that loves to interact and relate with you. And one other very good thing I learned about him. This is a hard-working man, a man that is very hard-working and pursues excellence. I, I, I love that about him. The new couple, the new couple, they should take it easy and they should love themselves. You know, um, your best friend in life is your wife. And when all that, even when the children are gone, your wife still remains with you. So they should be the best of friends, they should love each other and they should be patient. As things unfold and they unfold and they unfold, patience is the one. Femi's wedding, you can see. What's the relationship with it? He's my friend, and a very good friend, and a brother. A senior brother. <laughs> but I, I seniored him, you know, I got married like 10 years ago. So, what is your advice for the new My advice uh, is for them to enjoy themselves first before they start. Um, facing the marriage um, challenges, which is a little bit taxing. And uh, since they love themselves, so it's certain that they will overcome it. There's always a teething problem, and they should um, brush it with love, in love, rather. Enjoy themselves. Anytime they have problem, they should take a cup of coffee, take a cup of coffee, enjoy themselves, probably see a movie, and pray and go and sleep. <laughs> That's my advice to it. <laughs> so he is he's a very funny man. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a joy of any director to have him on set. Because he, he brings, the, anytime the tension is high, he, he, he just comes with, he's, he's softening it with, um, with the way he carries himself. The way he speaks, the way he looks, the way he laughs, you would just want to be relaxed. That can this guy ever be serious? So it's the first time I'm seeing him serious because he's getting married. So I'm, ha I'm happy for him. I hope we won't lose him in the creative um, industry. So he won't give all his creativity to the wife because we will still need it in the whole world. Yeah, what?
Asha Golu Yemi, um, Enoch, um, a member of Prem Films International, Nigeria, a ministry under the headship and leadership of uh, evangelist Femi Adibile Fejos Baba. So, okay, um, well, Fejos Baba is um, is uh, primarily primarily my leader. He's a leader to me because I work. And I serve on the, I serve God under His ministry, and it's been so so. It's more than a decade that we have been working together, close to 14 years now, and uh, the process has been wonderful. The process has been wonderful, rosy, thorny, you know, engaging, and, and and so many so many other moments and uh, you know experiences that we have been through in this ministerial journey. But all all all, all along, the Lord has been good, and we thank God for. It. For all things. Okay. Um, word of advice. Okay. As we are here today, as we have seen today, we see the reward of what comes with faithfully serving God. And what I would advise upcoming and young, you know, ministers of God who are still coming under, like someone like myself, is to keep on striving and to keep eating it on the nail, serving God with fervency with passion, with sincerity, with open with open mindedness. So that on the long run, when dividends has been rolled in, one will definitely be particular of it. What we have witnessed here, you know, today it's it's a testament of you know what God does to people who serve him faithfully and you know wholeheartedly. Without mincing words, without without you know uh, without being diplomatic about it, but you know, faithfully and consistently consistent in serving God. And that's what, and that's my advice to you know people that uh, whatever you are doing, make sure that you are sure that that's what God called you to do. Keep at it. Don't worry. You're soon going to be enjoying the dividends that comes along. to witness this uh, great occasion and I pray that the Lord will bring the children in Jesus' name. Quickly, I want to exhort uh, the newly related couple and uh, I want to read from the book of uh, Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. Very common verse. Amen. I want to read in the uh, message Bible which says, God said, it is not good for the man, for the man to be alone. And we found a helper for him, a companion. Amen. You know from the story of creation, God created the heaven and the earth. He created the firmament. He created every other thing. And after each creation, God will nod his head and say it is good. Amen. When he created man, he created man in his own image and he said the same thing. It is good. Amen. But when he wanted to create woman for the man, and the first time God will say it is not good, it's when you want to create a woman. Amen. Photographers, please, you can leave now so that they will be able to listen attentively. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When you want to create a woman, he said it is not good. Okay, the question is what exactly is not good? Is it the woman that God has God wants to create? For the man that is not good, no, it is not the woman. But the situation of the man without an helpmate is not good. Fellows, I want to congratulate you once again with the warning that uh, the life you have been living before may be very excellent, full of service unto the Lord, but the situation of your life is being not good. Praise the Lord. Because there's no help. Amen. And uh, 
Today, that's not a companion. No matter how many people you are living together with, without Becky, your life was not good. But thank God today, you have come to a we have come to a conclusion that you have started a new life. A new life in Christ, a new life in ministry. Amen. Because we have helped me now. Hallelujah. When you get married to Jesus Christ some years back or many years back, depending on the time you gave your life to Jesus Christ, so you are being admonished to move away from some certain friends that can kill the learning of God in your life. So I am telling you again today that this is a new life. You have to do and do away with some friends. It's a bitter pain, but you have to swallow it. Amen. So, number two, because of our time, marriage is an hospital. Amen. This, what we are experiencing today, is an hospital. And uh, in, the, in this type of hospital, two of you are doctors and you are nurses. Amen. If Fedros is sick, it will be the duty of, a, of Dr. Becky to heal, to, you know, prescribe drugs for Fedros. And if uh, Becky is sick, it's your duty to prescribe for him. And I pray the both of you will not fall sick together in the name of Jesus Christ. This spiritual sickness, you need each other. Um, physical sickness, you need each other. Amen. And as, as you go in this journey of being the doctor for yourselves, you will not need the help of a specialist doctor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number three, quickly because of our time. Take Jesus along. Amen. The disciples were crossing to the other side in the Bible. And thank God they went to Jesus Christ. They said, Master, we want to cross to the other side. Not only they took permission from him, they took him along. They were together in the boat. And when the storm came, he was able to calm the storm. Amen. Take Jesus Christ along. Because let me tell you, frankly, there will be storm in this marriage. Yes. There will be trials in this marriage. But Jesus, with Jesus in the boat of this marriage, he will sail through. With Jesus in the boat, you can smile. In the storm, smile in the storm. Smile in the storm. With Jesus in the boat, you will smile in the storm. While you are sailing home. Amen. Don't be like Adam and Eve. Amen. You know what Adam did in the Bible? God called him. Why have you done this? He said, The wife that you give to me, push me to do that. And then, uh, you know the repercussion. Amen. Because of our time, we are bound by these scholars here. You know the repercussion. And don't be like this, Sister Beth. That always gives to the husband what is forbidden. The Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The last one. I want you to always be, always be thankful unto the Lord for this marriage. Every time you wake up, say thank you for giving Becky to me. Becky will say thank you for giving Samuel to me as my husband. Despite whatever pain that you are passing through. And I will close this short exhortation by telling us the story. Because I'm, of course I'm a drama minister, I must tell a story. Amen. The story of one of my friends. My friend is Mr. John. This is Mr. John I'm talking about. Apology to those people that are behind the name John here. This is Mr. John that I'm talking about hates everything called giving. In fact, he hates it to the extent 
that every word given is written in his Bible, he will cross it. And the best time for Mr. John to go to the restroom in the church is when they are calling for offering and tithe. He hates giving to the extent that he doesn't want to give anything to anybody. So, one day, Mr. John closed from work and was going home. Very close to his house, there was a ditch. Ne never did there was, never then, did there was, they took light. And my friend Mr. John fell into the ditch. And all the effort of the neighbors to pull my friend out proves about him. Do you know why? The moment they say, Mr. John, give us your hand, he will quickly withdraw the hand. He doesn't want to give. Amen. They rushed to his wife. And he told his wife, your husband fell into a ditch and we find it so difficult to pull him out. He said, what have you been telling my husband? He said, we simply tell him, Mr. John, give us, give us your hand. He said, no, that is not the language of my husband. He said, let's go there. They got there. And they got there, they said, uh, the wife said, my husband, my honey, my darling, Please take my hand. And immediately he had take my hand, he could have brought his hand up to come and take the hand of the wife. And that is how they were able to pull him out. Praise the Lord. Make giving your priority in this marriage. Give to the lady. Wife, don't tell your husband that how many people are eating from this pot. Let's cut them down. No fully well that your blessing is eating and giving. And as you go on this journey, the Almighty Father will go with you. He will be with you throughout in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I am believer in him. I'm the immediate younger brother of the groom. My advice for the couple is that they should continue in their relationship with God because uh, God is the author of life and uh, like I said earlier to in an initial interview, is the script writer of our lives. That's in the terminology of, uh, you know, uh, cinematography or script writing or whatever. Uh, I know you understand better. But what I'm just trying to say is, is the script writer. He has written the script up to this point and is the one that knows what is next. So if they continue with God, which is my sole advice, I'm very sure that this is just the beginning. God is taking them higher, higher and higher. So that's my advice. They should keep their work with God. And give a great ovation to a new ex group of the town. This is Fredo's Baba and Fredo's Mama. I, 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 mama, I, I, I want you to be hot. Fredo's Mama, stand up. You, you, you don't understand. We, we are, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think I, I need to say something here. For those of you that have been following Fredo's Baba TV. Now, this is what we want the true TV change that name to Fetos Baba and Mama TV. Put that together, put that Shout a wonderful hallelujah. Shout a wonderful hallelujah. O Shinila, no pe o jenya o jeki amu yonde ki hallelujah. Shout a dramatic hallelujah! Ah, on behalf of my wonderful queen and high, on behalf of Fejus Baba and Fejus Mama, on behalf of Baba and Mama Nife, we say thank you very much 
for this great love and honor. And then, uh, like I prayed yesterday, I will reiterate that uh, such blessing, such miracles, such good news as this will not be absent from our lives and families in Jesus' name. And that if Christ tarries, good, good news, wonderful, wonderful things, big testimonies shall abound from this union in Jesus' name. Thank you very, very, very much. God bless every one of you. Wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh...